everybody welcome to network tech zone in our previous video we have configured telnet in cisco asa firewall you can find the link in the description box below today let's configure ssh and verify the connectivity by changing the security levels this is the same topology that we used for our previous video where we configured telnet I have just taken router 1 and router 2 connected to Cisco ASA. At the moment, I have not configured any IP address. Let's go ahead and configure the IP address starting from router 1. Let's rename this router. Hostname router 1. The interface that we have here is Ethernet 0 slash 0. Ethernet 0 slash 0 IP address. The IP address is 10.1.1.1. .1 .1. Slash 24 for the submit mask. No shut. Exit. Let's move to router 2. And rename this. Configure terminal host name. Router 2. Interface Ethernet 0 slash 0. That's what we see here, and IP address is 20.1.1.1. Let's assign IP address 20.1.1.1 20 slash 24 for the subnet mask. No shirt. Okay. Exit. Let's move to AC and configure the inside and outside IP address for the interface. Let's go with the inside IP address first. Config terminal. Interface gigabit zero slash zero for this port here. Okay, and IP address is ten dot one dot one dot two slash twenty four for the submit mask. Name if inside the security level for inside by default is 100 no shut exit we have outside interface let's configure that port here that is gigabit 0 slash 1 Interface gigabit zero slash one IP address IP address is what twenty dot one dot one dot two twenty dot one dot one dot two slash twenty four for the subnet mask. name of outside security level for outside is zero by default no shutdown exit okay let's try to ping from the cisco asa to the inside router 
and see if that's working. 10.1.1.1 for this router. Let's see if that's working. Yeah, okay. Um, now let's check if there is uh, SSH communication and if the traffic is being allowed for SSH. At the moment, we do not have SSH configured. You And you, you can see packets are getting dropped. Uh, you can use packet tracer command. Input inside TCP sources your router. What's the IP address of this router? 10.1.1.1. Any random port you can take, and the destination is AC device itself. That's 10.1.1.2. 10.1.1.2. And port number is 22 for the SSH. That's wrong. Uh, You can see here for the inside action is dropping. That means the traffic is getting blocked by this SSH because there is no configuration of SSH so far, right? So there is no flow of traffic. Similarly, if you want to check the SSH on the other side for the outside on the AC, you can use packet tracer command, packet tracer. input outside tcp what's the source outside ip address on the router is 20.1.1.1 right so you can use 20.1.1.1 and any random port you can take and your destination is going to be this 20.1.1.2 that is your ASA device itself Twenty dot one dot one dot two, okay, and port number twenty two. You can see action is dropped. That means traffic is getting blocked since we have not configured SSH on the AAC. Let's go ahead and configure SSH, and it's always very important that. Whenever you're using Telnet, you will always have to use it from your trusted network that is from your LAN because it is a clear text and it is not secured like SSH. So never use Telnet from outside. Okay. Now uh, for safety precautions, it's always good to use Telnet from the inside network that is from the LAN. And uh, since SSH has got uh, um, much security compared to Telnet and it is using crypto key RSA modulus, it is more secure. That means passwords are encrypted and it can be used even from the outside. Even if the outside has got lower security level, that is, even if it is having zero security level, and if you are configuring SSH on this ASA, it will still work. Okay. And even if you have 100 on the other side, and if you have the outside is zero and inside is 100, and if you have configured SSH on this ASA for outside, it will still work. And it will still work on the inside also. Okay. So that's the difference between Telnet configuration and SSH. Uh, when, whereas uh, Telnet will never work with 
lower security level it it always works from highest security level which is 100 okay either you need to have 100 on the uh, inside and 100 on the other side then the telnet will work but if you have 49 for inside and 50 on for outside telnet will still work on the outside that because it has got higher security than the inside okay Let's go ahead and configure SSH on this Cisco SA. Configure terminal. Enable password. And let's use enable password Cisco in lower case. Let's also create username. And here I will create username Cisco in with the C for the capital C and password Cisco. Okay, we already have that for enable for password. Hello, okay. And AAA authentication SSH local console local and let's enable ssh for both inside and outside okay so what's the inside network i will just enable 10.1.1.0 for the network and slash 24 for the inside network address and this is for inside and for the outside, um, we have 20.1.1.0 network. So 20.1.1.0 slash 24 for subnet mask. And you can name it as outside. Do not forget to generate this crypto key for SSH. Crypto key generate or say model is 1024. Yes, exit. Okay, so this is very simple step to configure SSH. So now you can see I have configured SSH for both inside and also for the outside. And you can also see even if the security level is zero. I will be able to securely access this ASA from outside. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and check. Let's go to router. Before that, let's check what is the security level. Let's go to ASA. Just type the command show name. If. You can see for the inside it is zero and for the outside it is sorry. For the inside, the security level is 100. For the outside, the security level is 0. So even if the outside security level is 0, you will be able to access this ASA from outside. Let's check that. Let's go with the outside router. SSH. Cisco username, right? And um, the IP address for the outside interface for this ASA is what? 20.1.1.2 20.1.1.2 Let's see It's asking for a password and the password was H-E-L-L-O Hello Enable and it's asking for enable password it's Cisco in lowercase that's working so even if the security level is zero for outside we are able to access Cisco SA let's move to router one and you will still be able to access this router I mean this uh, Cisco ASA from the router one Username Cisco and the IP address is 10.1.1.2. .1 .1 
10.1.1.2 it will ask for the password and we know the password is hello in lowercase enable password is Cisco in lowercase there it is so what we understood is when you're configuring SSH don't even if you're not configuring higher security level on the outside and if you still have zero for, for the security level SSH will still work from outside okay and if you have configured 100 and for your local trusted network on the LAN, you will be still able to access AC with the help of SSH from your local network. Okay, that's all about the configuration of SSH in Cisco AC firewall. I hope that this video has been helpful to you all. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you for watching. See you in the next video.